It's my privilege to be here on the request of AMA group. I congratulate them for uh, running so many conferences. I looked into the booklet, many conferences, from uh, potatoes to politics, everything included. And uh, this year, I'm glad they are conducting this uh, Global Cancer Summit at Hyderabad. Cancer is no more a death sentence. It can be cured, provided it is detected early. It can be made palliative and a cancer patient today can survive as a chronic disease, not necessarily death. Why? Because one, prediction, prevention, cancer survey, awareness among the people using, and technological progress, technology in the diagnosis. For example, I'm a radiologist. How can we diagnose cancer early? Yes. Earlier we had only plain radiographs, X-rays. And then came the ultrasonography. Then CT, multi-detector CT, MRI, angiography, radionuclide scan, PET, PET CT scan, and so many other technologies. And on the therapy side, we used to have only three modes of therapy. One, surgery, as a again repeat, provided it is diagnosed early, you can completely eradicate by surgery. And then radiotherapy and of course chemotherapy. And then conjugate type of biochemotherapies. With these, we are uh, able to keep the cancer patient to survive for a long time and useful, not just survive, but useful to the society in his own or her, in her own profession. And today, genetics plays a major role. Genes make it, makes the man. Genes also are responsible for cancer and then genetic variations. And today, the research in genetic research helps us, the biomarkers help us See, all cancers are not the same. One shoe doesn't fit every foot. So, these variations you describe and you detect by biomarkers and other investigations. And targeted therapy. Earlier, we used to have radical mastectomy. The whole thing is removed. Now, the less, the better. And that's how we are focusing in uh, cancer therapy. I don't want to take a lot of time because they are experts. I am only an observer and a diagnostic radiologist. And then, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, <coughs> the media plays a major role. In our days, in our school days, rarely they used to include the health news. Today, every newspaper, every TV channel, every radio program, is included, including, they include the health, that's how the health awareness has come. And even if I remember 20 years ago when I went to my village, I took a bristle bottle. Everybody laughed at me. Today, everybody takes a uh, bristle bottle that they can afford or not. That's how things have changed, only because of awareness. I'm sure the discussions, the deliberations will help not only the doctors, specialists to enlighten themselves, but in in the uh, course of time, it is targeted to help the patient, cancer patient. I wish the conference a great success. Thank you.